Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I thought it was about time that I give you an update on my experience with shingles. It's been uh, seven weeks now and it's not gone very well for me. But my shingle started on this side of my head and on this side of my neck and it progressed from the outside back towards the ear. So ap after weeks had gone by, the worst of it had gone to my ear, which now I can no longer hear in this ear, and I have a loud ringing in that ear, and it has affected my balance. I wanted you to see me walking back and forth right here so you could see. It's not a dizzy kind of imbalance. It's a uh, me having to concentrate on where I put my feet or else, you know, I might stumble over to the side a little bit. So I'm still... Uh, planning on all of these symptoms to resolve. I'm trusting the Lord to heal me, and I thank you for your prayers that you, oh, so many people have sent heavy word for me. I appreciate it. Please keep praying for me. Um, but uh, this is just, I just want to make another plea to you to go ahead and don't try to save that $250, $350 uh, by not getting your Shingrix shots. It's a two-stage shot. You go get one shot, like go to Walmart pharmacy, get one shot for like 250 or I don't know, 125, $130. Come back four to six months later and get the, the second stage of the shot. Shingrix, it could be worse. Usually when, when the shingles has gone to this level to where it affects the hearing, ringing in the ear, affects the balance. Usually you get facial paralysis too because it's affecting the nerve in the face there. Glad that I don't have the, the Bell's palsy sort of um, facial paralysis. So let's go over here on the back of the pickup truck and just uh, do a little bit of ferro rod and pine needles. All right, let me show you what I'm working with here on the pocket knife. It's the Stanley 10-049. You've seen me use it over and over and over again. And I take my sharpening stone. I have a diamond sharpening stone with a coarse side and a fine side. And I take and I run it, I drag it back across that coarse side like this 10 times. And then I feel and see if I got a good burr right there for scraping. Sometimes I have to do it 20, 30 times but uh, you'll be able to tell when it kicks up that burr right there that it is ready to scrape fat wood or a ferro rod. Great little knife. And I don't know if you could tell, look at how many times I've sharpened it. I must have sharpened it 20, 30 times over the last six months. Just keep wearing that blade down. And you can keep sharpening them until at some point when you get them sharpened so much you can no longer the fingernail indent right there is too deep to pull the blade out. And that's when I change the blade. And keychain fail rod. Finally put a new one on there. The other one was worn pretty thin. And I've got that video. I'll put that in the description if I can remember. Where we took and uh, ground a point on three of these fail rods. This is a Bayite fail rod. And I always like to grind a point on them. So let's go ahead and do a little bit with these pine needles here. We'll process them up just a little bit. Doesn't take much. We have really had some hot weather. One day last week it was like 98 degrees, but it felt like 108. I couldn't believe it with the heat index. And I haven't been checking it every day since then, but I did check it uh, day before yesterday and the heat index was over 100. And since the wind is blowing this way, we'll start right over here. Now I like to pin my tinder down. I noticed that some people take and, some people take and, and pretty much lay their ferro rod down and just come across it like that. That seems like a good way. But for me to bite hard with that good 90 degree edge, I like to I like to just really bear down on it hard and scrape as deep as I can for such a short ferro rod. That's just three and an eighth inches long by five sixteenths in diameter. So let's see what we can do with this little pile here. I'm 
get a little assist with the wind. I think that one went back out. No, it's it's flaming up again. That is a real that bay out fair ride is a really good fair ride. That couldn't help but light up as much as I loaded it up with shavings. I didn't try to load it up with shavings. That's just, sometimes as short as the ferro rod is, you can't really get enough speed to make it ignite. And so, but it's not lost. You see, even if it doesn't ignite, I'm loading it up with shavings, which it makes it actually much more flammable. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wobble back into the house. Um, something else I didn't mention is you can't hardly sleep when you've got this condition because I can't lay on the affected side, my left ear and left side of my head. Can't lay on that side, it's too painful. And you can only sleep on your right side so much. Definitely can't sleep on my back. So s lack of sleep's been a big issue on this one too. So, all right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.